Welcome to a first on NCIX Tech Tips. This is the first time we've showcased Rocket products here today, and what we're going to be focused on is their feature, which is actually pretty freaking awesome, called Rocket Talk. What Rocket Talk does is it allows your peripherals to actually control each other rather than just being locked into, you know, pressing a shift button on your mouse to access additional functionality. Now you can press a shift button on your mouse to access additional functionality on your keyboard. Very cool stuff. The mice we have to show you guys today are the Cone Peer and the Cone XTD. These both support Rocket Talk, but they are slightly different in terms of their other feature sets. So the Cone Peer is a smaller mouse physically, and it also doesn't have quite as many features as the XTD. So you've got seven buttons, that is your traditionally located back and forward, or this one works as a shift plus. You've got your left and right click, your middle click, and profile switching buttons here, all of which can be fully programmable and using shift plus. If you don't have the keyboard, you can access another layer of functionality, including macros, by holding shift and pressing any other button. So for example, shift left click by default is set to back in your browser. Very, very cool stuff. It has 16.8 million different LED light colors for the logo at the back, but that's nothing compared to the Cone XTD, which actually adds an additional button, adds a rocking scroll wheel, so you can go left and right on that guy. There's that additional button right there. In addition to the forward and back traditionally placed ones, they're both ergonomic shaped mice. This one is quite a bit larger, but check out those lighting effects. So I've actually manually configured them to be purple and green on one side and orange and green on the other side, which makes for a very, very cool looking mouse. You can actually select any color you want for each of those four lighting zones and they will blend together in the middle, making it look absolutely outstanding. They both have 8200 DPI sensors and use Omron switches and the Cone XTD adds an adjustable weight system giving you a pouch where you can store up to four five gram weights to adjust the weight of the mouse exactly the way you like it. They both have braided cables and all of the DPI adjustments that you could pretty much desire within the driver. Much like putting together a matching set of armor for yourself or weapons in a game so that they give added bonuses to each other for wearing all the same gear, you don't get the full Rocket Talk functionality without additional Rocket products. So this guy right here is the Isku FX keyboard, which has a number of features that make it interesting as a keyboard. We'll go through those. So you got all your media keys here. You've got real-time programmable macros with the Rocket Talk FX. Check this out. So it's feedback. Select a macro key to start recording. Just like that, which is, in my opinion, actually a lot more intuitive than the no user feedback setup that you have on a lot of other live macro recording capable products. I'm just going to turn that off. There you go. And it's got fully programmable keys along the left, fully programmable keys down here below the spacebar, which I think is really cool because a lot of the time you're not doing a whole lot with your spacebar if you aren't jumping around. And last but not least, 20 programmable keys down this zone of the keyboard that can have additional functionality assigned to them using Shift Plus. So all of this is in addition to the LED backlighting that can be selected with any color and the cable management that runs behind the keyboard. So let's start with a quick look at how Easy Shift Plus looks like on its own. So you can see here with my caps lock key, which I can reassign to be caps lock, all I have to do is instead of reaching up and pressing one, two, three to change my characters in Trine, I can press Easy Shift and use A, S, and D to switch between them. That way I don't actually ever have to remove my index, middle, and ring fingers from WASD. I can move or I can switch between characters just by using that Shift key. With Easy Shift Plus, instead of actually even moving my pinky finger, to the shift key on my keyboard, if I'm not doing anything with my mouse, or even if I am, I can hold down the easy shift plus key on the mouse in order to access that functionality. Customization of the mouse and keyboard is done within two separate utilities, but they give you pretty much every option under the sun. So your main controls give you access to most of your standard functions. Your easy zone controls allow you to assign separate functionality with easy shift to 20 keys in the main keyboard typing region, as well as your macro keys on the left and those thumb keys that are below the spacebar. Media keys and function keys can also be changed 
Advanced controls include things like mostly illumination. RAD is your achievements and tracking of your different things, everything you've done. So keystrokes and easy shift use and all that kind of cool stuff. And then here on the mouse, you can see things are actually pretty similar. So there's all your sensitivity and DPI, tilt wheel, all that good stuff. You can set all your different profiles, which by the way, when you're in game, this is really cool. Check this out, guys. A lot of the time you're fumbling around with DPI switching, so it's really not that practical to use in game. The game actually tells me when I'm changing the DPI. Very cool. So it's hard to get lost and accidentally be at the wrong DPI setting. Button assignments are done in much the same way as the keyboard with a full set of assignments and then a full additional set of assignments that can be used with Easy Shift Plus, whether you press the button on the keyboard or mouse, as long as you configure it correctly. More sensitivity, color control for the mouse itself, that same tracking, and of course, in both of them, firmware updates and software updates for the drivers. Now it's really not often that we see gaming peripherals actually introduce features and functionality that changes the way that we play games, but Rocket Talk can. Because all of a sudden, instead of if you had to access a second level of functionality on your keyboard or mouse at the same time, you'd be tying up four actions. Whereas if you wanted to use Rocket Talk to do it, you could shift once and execute two or three other actions with those fingers instead of being limited in that way. The plus the fact that you can time it into macros, you can record macros on the fly, it actually makes them some of the most flexible gaming peripherals that we've ever had a chance to take a look at. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of NCIX Tech Tips, and I will see you again next time.